Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Customize the library filter bar by using one of several predefined commonly used filters. The custom filter menu appears at the far right end of the library filter bar. If you choose camera info from this drop down menu, Lightroom Classic CC displays metadata information from your camera like lenses, focal lengths, and flash states. If you choose Default Columns, then the default metadata columns appear. If you choose Exposure Info, metadata information such as ISO speed, aperture, and shutter speed appear. If you choose Filters Off, Lightroom Classic CC deactivates and hides all filtering options and displays all photos from the selected source. If you choose the Flagged preset, photos with a Pick flag appear. If you choose Location Columns, metadata for country, state, city, and location appear. If you choose Rated, all photos with one star or higher appear. And if you choose Unrated, photos with no star ratings then appear. Keep in mind that you can activate more than one preset at a time. For example, if you selected the Location Columns preset and then chose the Rated preset, Lightroom Classic CC will activate both the Metadata Filtering Mode as well as the Attribute Filtering Mode. Remember to click the name of a mode in the Library Filter Bar to deactivate that mode before selecting another mode if you don't want to use both modes at once. You can also create custom filtering presets to streamline your workflow. To create a custom preset, use the Text, Attribute, and Metadata options to specify criteria to filter your photos. Then choose Save Current Settings as New Preset from the Custom Filter menu in the Library Filter Bar. The New Preset dialog box then appears. Type a name for the custom filter into the Preset Name text field. Then click the Create button. The new preset then appears as a selectable option within the Custom Filter menu. To delete a preset, select it from the Custom Filter menu. Next. Choose the Delete Preset Preset Name command from the same drop down menu. A confirmation message then appears. Click Delete to dismiss the message and delete the preset. To rename a preset, select it from the Custom Filter menu. Then choose Rename Preset Preset Name from the Custom Filter drop down menu. The Rename Preset dialog box then appears. You can then type a new name for the preset into the Preset Name text field and then click the Rename button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.